Hey guys, uh, Ethan here, and today uh, I'm going to be doing a movie review for the movie uh, The Invitation, which came out a while back. Uh, so I also, you know, along with um, 3,000 Years of Longing, uh, I also saw this uh, back when it first came out, or near to when it first came out. It was a week after it came out, but uh, so I did go see it, but, you know, like I explained in my um, 3,000 Years of Longing, uh, review. Uh, I, I didn't um, review it because I, I got lazy, I guess, and I, I just didn't review it, and I was waiting to like figure this out so I could do voiceover, because it allows me to um, take more time and um, explain myself a little bit with, with certain things of, of a film, so I, I, I like that better. So, yeah, so, so that's kind of why, but yeah, so but here I am now reviewing it, and uh, I'm going to tell you uh, what I thought of it. Um... So I guess I, I can start with uh, the positives, which there's only two things, unfortunately. So, um, oh, you know, before I do, I should explain that I didn't really like this movie too much. Um, I thought it was, you know, I, you know, I didn't really like this movie too much, but let's now get into what I didn't like, what I liked and didn't like. So what I liked about it is um, the lead performance. Um, I don't know her name, but I thought she was really good in here. She was very solid. Um... I also really liked um, the. Uh, I also thought I also liked that it was very short. Um, it was over pretty quickly, and I liked it about it. But unfortunately, I, overall, I didn't really like this movie. So let's get into the negatives. So the first thing I didn't like was the unoriginal and boring story. Um, it, this is going to be a minor minor spoiler to those who haven't seen it, but I don't really recommend you see it. Um, but the, the thing I didn't like about it is that this is a vampire movie, which I didn't realize going into it. But so, um, but yeah, so after seeing it, you know, it, it wasn't very original. You know, I feel like we've seen it all before and it's just, it's just, it was just boring. You know, I, I, I was just bored watching it. And, uh, yeah, I also thought it was pretty predictable, um, in terms of like the story and like, uh, the scares, um, like, for example, there was a scene in the movie where, you know, she's out in the hallway, and she turns around, and, you know, there, there's something behind her, and then she turns around, but it's not there, and then she turns back around, and then, boom, there's someone there, and I was like, uh, I saw that coming from, like, a mile away, so it's stuff like that that kind of gets on my nerves, and that are just stupid and overdone at this point. Uh, also, the other thing I didn't like is the, it had, the movie has really bad editing, like, there's, there, there's some action sequences in here, and they're very choppily edited, um, including, like, some of the scare scenes. They're, they're just badly edited. Um, along with it being, uh, there there's a lot of bad lighting. Like, some of the things that were happening, like, I, I just couldn't see what was going on. It was so annoying, and, and, I, and I just hate that. I hate that. It, it was just so stupid. I don't get why, why you couldn't bright it up. Like, yeah, so along with bad lighting. Uh, it's also not scary. Like, I, I didn't find myself scared at all. Like, I feel myself jumping, you know, to some of the jump scares, but that that's not scary. That's just noise. It's sound effects. Like, it's just a natural reaction, so that doesn't count. Uh, I also thought it had, you know, besides the lead character um, or lead actress, I thought the, uh, the, the other performances in here were pretty bad. I guess most of all, we're just bland. You know, no one does anything with their characters. It's just all, and those characters we've all seen before, blah, 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 blah. They all act weird. Like they're in some Darren Aronofsky film, which they're not. I tried to be like that, but it's it's just really not. But yeah, so they're bland. Um, also, the visuals. I guess there's some good cinematography in here, but overall, it was just a very ugly, muddy-looking film, and I and I didn't really like the look of this. And also, I think this movie would have benefited a lot if it were rated R. You know, we could have got some very gory kills and um, just a lot of gory shit, but we don't we don't get any of that in here said we're left with a watered down PG-13 mess of a movie. So um yeah, overall um I I give this movie like a 2 out of 5 stars. Um you can check my letterbox to verify that, but uh yeah, other than that, I really don't recommend you see this and just stay away from this at all costs and go see something else, something better to do with your time. But other than that, uh that's about it. Goodbye.